So guys, I am back with another Diablo 4 video and today I bring you yet another amazing dungeon you can farm for that XP which will give you, I believe, more XP than any other dungeon in the game efficiency wise. Guys, stay tuned. How's it going people? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so it's back. It really is back. The Blind Burrows people is back. This dungeon post patch is absolutely crazy. Now calculations were done on PC. This place solo will earn you upwards of 35 million XP per hour. 35 million XP per hour. Wow. Nightmare dungeon as well guys. Yes you can farm it. I think I will explain today. Okay, so the Blind Burrows is a place we've all probably farmed in the past. Uh, Blizzard have nerfed this place. I mean, it took a few hits, but let me tell you, it's still super, super efficient. And now, post patch, post 1.0.3 patch, in regards to the updates they did to monsters and the XP you earn from monsters and even completing dungeons, this place, because it's easy to run, because it's easy to kill the monsters in here, it's so efficient for that XP. It's utterly, utterly crazy. Now, it's still the classic layout. You always get that figure eight layout, which is perfect for a single run, to be honest. Uh, but even if you do this co-op, I mean co-op, co-op people, you're going to run this easily twice as quick. I can't imagine what that XP number is going to be if you run 70 million an hour. And yes, you can farm these nightmare dungeons, people. Okay, so the Blind Bowls is located right here on the map, people. I mean, hey, you know, probably know where it is already. But what you want to do is you want to get the Nightmare version of this place. That's where the changes have been made. That's where the XP gains are. You need a Nightmare version of this place. So go ahead and try your best to get a Sigil. Uh, RNG, I know most of the time it is RNG. Uh, but the Oculus, I mean, you can always go and craft your own and try and get lucky there. But once you have a sigil with the correct rolls on said sigil, said modifiers, when the enemy level is perfect for your level. And in regards to this, uh, it used to be around three or four levels above you pre-patch. Now guys, the higher the enemy, the more XP you will gain. So guys, just try it out, try your luck, see how high you can take it with the enemy's level and still make it efficient. Yeah, obviously it needs to be efficient in regards to XP gains. Well, I was running dungeons 11 uh, levels above me on my Necromancer build. It was still quite efficient for me, earning tons and tons of XP. But you do what you got to do, but you have to find that perfect balance for sure. And make sure it's got the right modifiers on it too, because the modifiers can really ruin a dungeon. And especially if you plan to farm this said nightmare dungeon over and over, which I'll explain now how to do so. Okay, so once you have said nightmare sigil, activate it. Again, it doesn't matter what Nightmare Dungeon is, it can be anyone, any one of your favourites, but activate that sigil. Uh, so then guys, fast travel to that Nightmare Dungeon, go inside the said Nightmare Dungeon, leave the Nightmare Dungeon, so you go back outside of the Nightmare Dungeon. Then guys, you want to travel to this waypoint here and go inside the Iron Hold Dungeon, the standard version. Here guys, you need to complete the first objective and we come in here because it's so easy. Run through all of these enemies, kill the elite, get the jailer's key, first objective is done. Once you've done this guys, leave this dungeon. Once you're outside the dungeon, fast travel back to your said nightmare dungeon and run it. Now the only rule is you cannot complete said nightmare dungeon. So you do lose a little bit of XP for completing it, but you still get all the XP for killing all the minions inside of it. So yes, what you can't do is complete said nightmare dungeon. So whatever nightmare dungeon you're running, you want to farm, do not complete it. Whether that's defeating a boss to complete it or whether that's completing an objective, do not do it. Once you're at a point of where you want to reset it, where it's not complete, simply leave the nightmare dungeon, head back to the iron hold, Run the Iron Horde again until you've done the first objective, which will take you 30 seconds. Kill the dude, get the Jailer's Key, objective done. This, guys, and this is how you reset the Nightmare Dungeon. You have to travel to another dungeon and do the first objective every single time to reset said Nightmare Dungeon. And it's just rinse and repeat, guys, and there you have it. That's how you farm them. But yes, the Blind Burrows is back. I don't even know, to be honest, if it ever went anywhere. It was good before, but now it's just probably top of the list, in my opinion. But hey... But there we have it, guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. Try the blind bows and let me know your thoughts on it. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.